Hey everyone, uh, especially uh, for for Nat and Rain. This is for you guys, our gals, I should say. Um, congratulations, you won the full reading for all of everything I read. Okay, um, so hats and horns for you. <laughs> Anyway, um, without further ado, um, let's get into those readings. Um, I'll uh, speed up the whole, well, you'll see. Okay. As you can see, down here, ain't got nothing ready yet. But in a snap, there we go. All set up. Just got to do the singing bowl. You all know how it works. Okay, what a sweet note that is. I'll give you all a dice reading first. Okay, this is, uh, first of all, for, this is for Nat. Whoa. Okay, let me see here. Okay, that's um, Scorpio, which is a water sign. Lesser Scorpio, I should add, over Capricorn, I think. Yes. Lesser Scorpio over, oh, I'm sorry. Lesser Scorpio over Saturn, which is an Earth sign. So, water, lesser water over Earth. Okay, and let me see what that says about that. <laughs> this one, ironically, I think might be intended for rain. So, I'm going to read this for rain, Nat, instead. And I'll get yours next. Okay, because this one is called The Rains. Happiness and good fortune. The crops are watered, the earth refreshed. A light rain falling on brown soil and green plants. Happiness. This is a very positive reading indeed. Soft rains nourish the fertile earth, and all of the life in nature is renewed. Water lends its best qualities. Gentle nurturing, cool relief from any hot temperatures, health purity, to the domain of the home, security, wealth, and land. Of course, there are always those who do not like the rain, who in a light shower will resolutely stay inside and wait for it to pass. A very stubborn person will be unmoved by emotional appeals here and refuse to see the beauty and process that brings bountiful life at the expense of a temporary inconvenience. Those with wisdom will enjoy the emotions for what they are, the stuff of life, watering the green plants and giving gifts of, to the home and family. There is no negative effect on the amount of earth in this reading due to the water. It is compatible and in a small amount, which is always welcome. The earth is still the main element and only benefits from the lesser presence of the water. Earth's soil receives the rain leading to health and growth in a stable environment. The element of earth is used in magical work to ground strong forces, to neutralize and bury them, much as a lightning rod directs a 
to charge harmlessly into the earth. Water on its own neutralizes in this way, washing things clean and purifying. The mix of both of them makes his reading absolutely superb at moving on from old influences, bearing past grievances and healing. It's also a positive reading for talking about the current moment. You should think that the rain means sad times, but here they are soaked up by the ample earth and used to refresh and grow all the life. It is an act of renewing, absorbing the moisture to prevent the ground from becoming dry and cracked, but in amounts that do not wash away the soil. Water's potentially turbulent emotions can overbalance us when we are standing on one of the more changeable elements, but earth gives us the secure foothold and support we need so that the small amount of water is only enriching additions to our lives. Finally, this reading suggests that it's just fine to step up to a reward that will come along at a later date. The crops and plants are watered so that they will grow, and with the good health ground as a base in this pairing, they are sure to bear fruit in time. Okay, Rain. Now, in this dice ring, I should add, all of this is um, figuratively speaking. Okay, it's saying, though, that this is a perfect setup. You know, it's ideal setup for happiness. Times are going good, or should be going good, I should say. Okay, Nat. Nat. Okay. Okay, Nat. Your reading is. Let me see. It's Greater Sagittarius, which is fire, greater fire, over the sun. Wow. Greater fire over the sun. Ah, feeling hot, 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 hot. <laughs> greater fire over the sun. It's the runners trying to, mat to match a master, a close race, triumphing against a superior. Two fiery horses and riders, one red and one yellow, racing toward each other at absolutely top speed. There is so much energy in this reading. The result is a rare thing, a student proving themselves the equal of a master. In human experience, any amount of fire is always less powerful than the sun itself. But here it is greater, it is shown as greater, how do we begin to think about that? It, it is though the sun is a task and fire succeeded at it. Not any task, but one that the sun considers its own specialty. This is therefore a tale of the hard-working student overcoming impossible odds to gain the first place through a high amount of effort. It is not purely intellectual exercise with the amount of thrashing energy being thrown around. The task is going to require very hard work. Greater fire shows that it's on topic that the person already cares about, something very close to their own nature. In all situations where a task is this personal pride and anger, there are some bigger dangers. People can be over eager to rush in and furious at delays. While the main theme is a success is a success against great odds, fire will at least play a part in how it is achieved. This will not happen without passion, willpower, and energy. Racing at full speed toward each other is a risky business. You can stumble and fall, injure yourself, or strain muscles. On the other hand, it can be great fun. We need to peak experiences in our lives, times when we don't worry about what is sensible or about conserving energy for later, but go all out in pursuit of something we believe in. This win was not achieved by clever thinking or patient waiting. Fire's energy is, all, is one of movement, of making change happen, and it fills our chest with a shout. It's sexy. It's also really, really reckless, unless you remember to take precautions as well. 
The relationship between the elements here means an unexpected win, but it's difficult to see that in isolation from the amount of heat that's involved. If your question is about the time to do something, the answer is right now as fast as possible. If it's about whether it is wise to do something, that's difficult. This is a reading of proving the impossible, of competition and incredible success. It can represent a situation which looks too difficult to achieve, but says that you will do it if you bring enough energy and determination. The first thing you should be thinking about is there is danger written over using this much fire. You need to burn brighter than the sun. It's entirely possible that you can't do this if you just try to get conventionally hotter using your own resources. Consider getting help and preparing yourself. The stakes are high, so put everything into finding a way that will show the experts that you're at the level two. Okay? Nat? So try, try, try. Get help if you need it. But you can do it, Jim. Be the best you can be. And you can be better than others. Nat wanted Madame and Doris. So this is for Nat. Okay. Ah! <laughs> That's off to a great grand start. And there's too many to read there, so <laughs> way too many to read. All right, Nat. Okay, the maiden. A new relationship blossoms. Next up, the Cadesus. You will receive news from afar. And the last one is the sun. Your perseverance is rewarded. So let me show you all these. Cool. That has the scarab on it and the sun. That has a medical cadesus. And there's the maiden. So let me start with the maiden. Okay. Young and naive, the maiden represents innocence, hope, and loyal friendship. She embodies purity and emotional longing. Heed the advice of a close and trusted friend. A new relationship blossoms. And it, it could be any type of relationship. It doesn't have to be one of love. It uh, can be friendship or anything else. It's going to go well for you. Now the Caduceus. 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 I've been saying it wrong. Caduceus. I haven't had to say that word in so long. Um, okay. The Caduceus is a symbol of the herald and sign of the healer. Expect good news from afar. A healthy process has begun. And the last one is the sun. The sun represents a person who is hardworking, stable, and reliable. Enlightenment leads to discovery. Your perseverance is rewarded. You will gain recognition and acclaim. Wow. Okay, Nat. Hope that made some sense to you. Sounds like a very, very good reading. Very positive. And I like those positive readings, and I'm sure you do too. So 
hopefully I'm on a roll with the good news for Rain. She wants the Archangel Oracle Guards. Okay, all is well. Archangel Jeremiah, Jeremiah, everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. All is well. That's that's a good one. Leadership. Archangel Gabriel, it's time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. Okay, and the last one. Patience. Archangel Jophiel. Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. That's a pretty one. Okay, all is well. Archangel Jeremiel. Jeremiel. I'm not sure how you pronounce that exactly. Everything's happening exactly as it's supposed to. With hidden blessings, you'll soon understand. Sometimes what appears to be a problem is actually an answered prayer in disguise. When we ask for help, heaven may dismantle the old to make room for the new. During this time of change, practice relaxation methods such as yoga, deep breathing, exercise, and meditation. Ask me to make your transition smooth and harmonious for everyone involved and know that this change is for the better. Working with Archangel Jeremiel. Each archangel has a specific aura color. Jeremiel's is deep eggplant purple. When you see sparkles of dark purple light, this will be a way to know that Jeremiel is with you. Each archangel has a particular type of crystal aligned with their energy. And for Jeremiel, that crystal is the amethyst. When you wear an amethyst, you may feel closer to Jeremiel's kind and loving energy. Okay, next one is leadership. Archangel Gabriel, it's time for you to assume your leadership power and position. Embrace your power in a loving way and use it for the greater good. I'll guide your actions so they inspire and motivate others. I'll also replace any self-doubt about your qualifications with an increased desire to serve, help, and teach. When your focus is on how may I serve you, then you won't worry about what others may think about you. Focus upon your strengths, the many lessons you've learned, and how good it feels to be a living example of following one's divine guidance. Working with Archangel Gabriel. Gabriel's name means God is my strength, and this phrase describes you as well. Regardless of your background, you have God's strength pouring through you at all times. Gabriel may help you fearlessly trap. Gabriel can help you fearlessly tap into this power. She'll reassure you that it's safe for you to be powerful and protect you in all ways. Gabriel's aura is copper, like her trumpet. When you wear the crystal stone citrine or the precious metal copper, you readily connect with her energy. And the last one is patience. Archangel Jophiel, your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. It takes time for a seedling to push through the ground and mature into a flower-bearing plant. Yet each moment of a plant's life cycle can bring a joy to those who notice its beauty. In the same way, enjoy the process of realizing your dreams. Slow down uh, and feel gratitude as each step brings your manifestation into tangible form. Notice the lesson, lessons and love that you, notice the lessons and love that spring from every moment that you engage in acting upon your dreams. Working with Archangel Jophiel. Jophiel helps us experience more grace and peace in our lives through slowing down and noticing the beauty that is already surrounds us. 
She asks us to savor and enjoy each moment rather than hinging our happiness on some future goals. Call upon Jophiel anytime you feel rushed, stressed, or unhappy. She'll increase your awareness and appreciation of everyday life and miracles. There you go, Rain. Some very great words of wisdom there. Nat, this is for you. I felt this somewhat, and this was stronger. Okay, first one is Bjork. It means purity, uh, becoming. Uh, there may be a birth coming in your family soon. Um, it also represents the great mother, and that brings with it things um creating anything um becoming about um giving uh creation to um bringing life to it's not just about giving birth but anything that uh springs forth into being like the flowers blooming in the spring and all all like that you're gonna have a, a great talent with that coming up it'd be a great time to accomplish something you've been wanting to get done for a while now this warns you though um not that you would be but it warns you uh to avoid being selfish or uninvolved um and uh, watch your ego. Okay, and it's uh, it's a possible time of being a victim of something or feeling alone coming up. So you want to look out for that. It also were, uh, warns about being stubborn, um, doing things foolhardy. Um, this reminds you listen to advice others are giving you it's a good time to really listen to advice it'll save you a lot of troubles now this one's saying that uh, you have some secrets that are going to be revealed or secrets about others are going to be revealed to you unexpected results expect the unexpected okay with this rune you just never know where it's going to take you but also watch out someone might be uh disloyal to you you want to keep your eyes open for that and last of all uh there's uh a very uh a very uh marked and notable ending coming to something in your life which isn't a bad thing because where there's an ending there's a new beginning but this ending is going to be one that you want to take note of and you'll remember it for a long time to come okay and uh, it's just going to be a milestone in your life all right matt i wish this was better but uh Focus on the good, if you can, and uh, watch out for the bad. All right. Next up, we have rain.
Oh, I feel it pushing on that. Okay. Rain. Okay. I see great ambition with you. Light emulating. Um, there's going to be a like a breakthrough. Cosmic consciousness. A good time to follow your instincts and your intuition. You know, very good time for that. Um, and this is a, another very positive room you're getting here. Um, victory, uh, clear vision. Once again, follow your intuition. Okay. Listen to that gut feeling you have and, and follow it. Um, there could be an honor bestowed upon you in some, in some particular way. I see achievement. Also, a good time to take a rest. Um, take some time to yourself and chill out a little bit. Okay. This one warns about uh, avoiding temptation, greed, or doing anything that goes against your conscience. And the last one um, also warns that your life could become stagnant here toward the end of this period. I don't know how long this period may be, but uh, stagnant. Um, some of the things you've been accomplishing are going to come undone. Um, I see a period of inactivity, and as a result, you're, you're going to become a little tense. Your tensions are going to run pretty high, actually. So uh, just try to hold it together and... Um, you know, just wait uh, a little while and hopefully uh, things will improve for you, Rain. But it started out really good and I'd uh, try to focus on that. All right. This reading is for Nat. Okay, Nat. Okay, Nat, um, let me see, uh, nothing in particular seems to stand out, uh, to start with, so, uh, let me go ahead with this. I see you, um, you're not, you don't have anything to celebrate, um, not necessarily unhappy, but, um, just not really in that great, uh, um, in that great place yet. Now, it looks like, uh, someone has given you something recently or soon will give you something, um, like, uh, advice about money or a gift that's very valuable. Um, that's worth a lot of money. Okay, in the past, there's been problems in the household, possibly money-related. Um, and, uh, not, not a lot of happiness going on. Like I said, not a, not a deep depression, just not, not feeling it, not feeling that happiness. Um, you're uh, regretting something in, from the past. And it's kind of bothering you. You just can't leave it behind. Um, good news is, soon coming up, somehow you're going to work through that and find your happiness. The household is going to finally... Uh, stabilize 
and things are going to look uh, really good from your end. And it doesn't look like there's going to be a change coming at all. It's going to uh, stay that way for a while. You're uh, going to be looking at your horizons, um, dreaming about uh, what can be, and uh, not, not acting out or doing anything, and not acting on anything, but uh, just uh, contemplating um, alternatives, what you could do otherwise. Now it's a very mystical time coming up for you, almost a magical time. So uh, enjoy it while you can. Your intuition, follow it. You know, it's everything's going to be going in your favor. Something you've been working on hard is uh, going to come about. So if you've uh, anything in particular you've been trying to make any decisions or any any uh, work job related thing, it's going to turn out well. And you're going to uh, be able to go on. Um, maybe it looks like you're going to be getting over this regret that you had in the past. Albeit though, you, you might feel a little bit lonely. Um, maybe like no one understands you, but you're going to be able to put that aside, you know, this regret at last and continue on and hopefully uh, find, you know, your place in the crowd again. You know, find yourself and uh, find, you know, people that uh, can understand you better. All right. Pretty good reading. Hope it makes some sense for you. Now this one's for rain. Let's see what you have. Okay, Rain, your situation, um, it looks like someone's trying to give you some advice about uh, your family, your home, um, something like that. Uh, could be uh, about, um, even about a good friend or a close friend, something like that. They're trying to give you some advice. Um, now, uh, Something's happening, um, you're kind of balancing between uh, the spiritual and the physical, the monetary life right now. Um, I'm not sure why exactly that there's this, uh, this shift in balance here. Um, it looks like uh, in the past something that you've been working on has come to pass. Uh, maybe it's a, a job even. Yeah, uh, something good has happened with your job. Then uh, things took a turnabout here, or will soon take a turnabout. Um, and luck's not going to be on your side. It's going to be a strange period. Something's going to happen that's almost uh, magical, but it's not going to be in your favor. It's going to be something unexpected and out of the blue, and it's just not going to work out very well for you. But you seem to be a fighter, and you're going to come out. There's news coming your way. You're going to come out ahead. You're going to be... Uh, 
victorious in whatever this is. And uh, it looks like uh, either this is two separate incidents or one, but you're going to hear the message from somebody about this uh, victory, or it's going to be practically handed to you. It's going to bring about a lot of uh, confidence, too, where you've been uh, kind of struggling a bit, uh, not knowing where to turn next, afraid to make any movements. After uh, this period, this really uh, messed you messed you up a bit. Um, you're going to be a, a little bit more freer in what you do, and your confidence is going to be restored. Okay. Now, once again, I, I see some bad news coming your way about the family or a friend or something. It just, uh, it, it's, this is just a repeat of uh, this card here. The, that card and this one. Um, bad news about the home, the family. Um, a, a, a very good friend. Because um, sometimes our friends are, are like family to us. Um, something negative is going to be passed on to you. And uh, now I don't know if it has anything to do with this situation. But you're going to start regretting something. Um, you might regret this victory in, in some manner. I'm not sure how, but it's going to bother you. Um, perhaps it's something you've left behind and wasn't able to uh, bring along with you, or perhaps uh, this victory involved um, a friend or something, and it's, it's resulted in the destruction of the friendship, perhaps, and you're regretting this coming up in the future. And it's going to, it looks like it's going to bother you for a while. It's going to uh, really deeply bother you. Um, I'm, I'm sorry to uh, give that bad news, Rain. Um, just uh, hang in there. Um, I don't know what to tell you, Rain. Just... Uh, Try to bear with it and go through with it, because uh, I don't think there's any alternatives to this one. It looks like it's just bound to happen. All right. Perhaps it's about an argument or a disagreement with a friend that's going to go bad. That's my guess out of everything here. I want to congratulate you all again for getting the, the full spread reading of everything. Um, let's cue some of that party music right now. Okay, so um, I, I want to wanna say uh, blessed be to all. Uh, peace and remember believe